matchup right now. Alfred Smith, Jeffrey Clark, and our lead official, Antonio Petty. Evansville in the purple. Arkansas in the home white. And we are playing in the SEC. As hard as it may sound to believe, Arkansas has actually played a little zone this year, but by and large, as you look at who Evansville has out there, Brown, Wing, Valentine, Simmons, and Miskimichus, and there's the man that'll make it go for the Purple Aces, Valentine with the first miss of the night. Arkansas has had to play some zone because they just don't have the numbers. And the Razorbacks going with Durham, Bell, Witt, Kingsley, and Miles. And Bell's jumper won't fall. Evansville coming off an 85-81 win against Murray State on Saturday night. They've won four straight, 12 out of 13, dating back to last year. Arkansas coming off a tough loss at Wake Forest. Nice feed inside, and that's an easy two for Egidius Muscovicius. No surprise that basket comes off an assist. This is a team that does 77 percent of their scoring off assists the best in the country they are number one in the country as you said dane averaging about 22 assists a game as kingsley is called for the travel arkansas has been playing zone because they don't have depth but also because they can't contain penetration here just a simple penetration kick to the big man muscovicius that's where evansville has the advantage muscovicius has had 33 double doubles in the last 52 games he averages 17 and a half and 13 and a half in terms of rebounds per game. You'll see they look to post up DJ Ballantyne. He's a physical guard. Shot clock again under 10. And Arkansas forcing Evansville into taking some difficult shots early. Miles had it knocked away. Evansville gets it back thanks to great hustle. Purple Aces on the break. And it's Jalen Brown who'll go to the line. Nice deflection on the defensive end. We saw Evansville working on that during their shoot around was the deflections on the other end. But here, Brown takes it all the way to the rack. I thought he might have been able to give it up to Miskevichus, but nevertheless gets himself to the free throw line. Foul was called against Anthlon Bell. It's his first, first against the Hogs. Evansville went out to the Wooden Classic. They're only lost to Providence. And so they don't come into a place like the Bud Walton Arena with the big wide eyes. With their last win versus Murray State, that was a hostile environment on the road. They should be well prepared for this arena. Two-point jump shot. And that tap won't go for Kingsley. But Durham will reset the offense. Bell got around Simmons. But Miss Miscavichus came over and may have gotten a piece of it. Nice look inside. That's a tough catch and a pretty two by Adam Wing. They're such a good passing team. One through five, this team is capable of all making the right pass at the right time. Arkansas has missed its first three shots and turned the ball over twice. As Evansville has scored the first five, but it's number five for Arkansas, Antlon Bell, who answers from deep. Boy, he's got a sweet stroke. He's been doing his whole life out of Memphis, Tennessee. 2,000-point score for Bartlett High School. Brown got free again but couldn't finish. And Miskevichus will go to the line on the follow. And Mike Anderson was really concentrating on the defensive end of the floor in the shoot-around today, Dane. And early on, Arkansas has not closed up those holes in that defense. Well, they're not able to stop penetration for one. But also, it's the offensive rebounds. It's the tough plays. That's what got them against Wake Forest. Devin Thomas had 20 and 12 against them. I think a large part 
they're shorthanded. Trey Thompson had been out. They hope to have him back today. But they're just not as deep down on the interior. And you see Manny Watkins, the son of Arkansas assistant coach Melvin Watkins, checking into the lineup. And as Miles goes out, the foul was against Kingsley. That's his first. Miskevichus knocks down a couple. And Evansville back on top by four. Nice drive by Durham, but Miskevichus with the help. Miskevichus coming off the weak side. That's where Durham, who's a great pass for his Arkansas teams, got to know that there's going to be an off-ball defender. Bump is called out front against Jalen Brown as he tries to stop the penetration by Jimmy Witt. Evansville coming in here, playing awfully well. And Arkansas needs some big shots to stain it early. So guys are in different roles. Some guys are hesitant about, you know, what should I do here? What should I do there? Because they always had guys like, like Qualls and Portis there before. Just trying to find their way and trying to do it tonight against a good Evansville team as Kingsley missed his first shot. And Miskevichus is getting everything off the window. That's something to keep an eye on with Kingsley. He doesn't want to float too far away from the basket. Miskevichus can cause you to do that with his intimidation factor down low. The time it was Witt who got the hand in there and knocked it away. And we talked about those nine players that are gone as you see Witt go to the bench. You see the scoring and the rebounding that's lost. And one of the guys that's trying to replace that is that young man, Dusty Hannes, as Wing scored off the inbounds. A guy in Dusty Hannes who is Dane Bradshaw-like in his ability to light up the scoreboard. <laughs> He's doing a lot better job than I ever did. This guy can flat out shoot the rock, leads the SEC, tied with his teammate Bell with 23 pointers made so far this year. Kingsley fell away again. See, that's where I think Kingsley's got to be careful. He doesn't start doing that too much. He can't be so intimidated by Miskevichus. Wing saved that basketball, and earlier here he is off the inbound. Even when it's an inbounds pass, they're scoring off the assist. That's what this team does. They're scoring off the assist tonight because they're just not getting challenged on their shots. They're, they're getting themselves open and credit them for doing that with this motion offense that they run, but they've gotten some help too. Arkansas has got to get tighter on defense. I think that's why you see him going to zone right away, and there you see Wing again. The former great football player turned basketball star and leader for this Evansville team. Getting them with the up and under. That's just discipline on the defensive end. Great move by Wing, but you can't jump for that if you're Arkansas. Wing from Rowan County, Kentucky, Moorhead, about an hour from Lexington, recruited to Evansville to play football. And Hannah's had it knocked away. And there's another 50-50 ball that Evansville beats Arkansas to. Nice job by Evansville running Hannah's off the three-point line, making him a driver. Boy, that was a tough pass right there. One of the few mistakes the Purple Aces have made. And Watkins draws the contact. Wing will get called for the foul. Wing does a great job. You get it right where you want it. Just a simple up, under, just like you practice. But whether you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, I don't care if you're Arkansas. You can't jump for that. That solid build a wall. You have the height advantage. Be solid defensively. And a nice job by the Razorbacks inside, and it's the glue guy off the bench, Manny Watkins, who gets a much-needed bucket for the Hawks. It's just a flat-out winner. He's won championships at the AU level, led his high school to a state championship, and been a part of this program that Mike Anderson has turned around. Look at that drive. Boy, with the whole freedom of movement thing, and that's the first time we've talked about it tonight, Arkansas has not had anybody can get in front of Jalen Brown. Jabril Durham, you always want your best pass for taking the ball out of bounds. That's what Arkansas has in Jabril Durham. And that was Wing that got caught looking backside. Here you see number 10, Mislav Brazilia. Transfer from Villanova wearing number 10. He checked in for Evansville. And he commits the foul. And they're going to count the basket. 
And Brazoya kind of barking at Simmons a little bit. Marty Simmons is going to go to his bench. Just a careless turnover that time, not being focused, paying attention. Jimmy Witt with the and one for the nice freshman. Hickman High School, number one player out of Missouri. If there's one player that Coach Anderson is excited about their future, it is Jimmy Witt. Only 6'4", but you look at those arms, he's got the, the wingspan of a 6'9", 6'10", guy. Those things hang down to his knees. Mind you, Tony Delk back in studio, doesn't it? <laughs> if he can be like Tony Delk, he'll be in good shape. And Watkins is going to get called for the hold on wing. You can see that one all the way over here. So Evansville has come in here into the Bud Walton Arena, led by as many as eight. And they have controlled things, and so far, DJ Ballantyne has only got one shot, and he missed it. So under those circumstances, that's going to be called big-time good start for Evansville. McKevichus double team. That's one way to stop him. Really nice double team. Comes off the pass. Watkins comes aggressive. If you're going to double team, you better double team quick and aggressive. And now the second time we see Wing get wide open on the out-of-bounds play. Razorbacks answer. That's a two-point jumper for Jabril Durham. And a steal on the inbound. That's what Durham can do for you. Not a great three-point shooter, but he knows his limitations. He gets the pull-up jumper straight into the press and then leads to the easy basket for Watkins, who's always in the right place at the right time. Guys in the white jerseys trying to get this crowd into it. Nice feed from Ballantyne and a pretty drive by Jalen Brown, the junior out of Fishers, Indiana. We know Arkansas can get stops by turning people over. They still turn people over 16 times a game. That's a tough catch right there. That's a nice play by Willie Kowasi. He couldn't finish as Miskevich just fouled him, but he'll still go to the line. Jabril Durham with a nice pull-up jumper here. Doesn't celebrate, gets right into the press as Coach Anderson wants. Wing is careless with that pass. And a great dime to Watkins. But that's what I was saying. We know Arkansas can get stops there when it comes to pressing and turning people over, but can they get consistent stops in the half-court set? Because they had that too, but then they gave up an easy drive right after that. Vance College basketball continues this Saturday on the SEC Network at 5.30. Kansas State takes on Texas A&M, then at 8 Eastern, Texas Tech. And these Razorbacks, both games are also live on Watch ESPN. So Arkansas has now made it a one-possession game as Brazoya checks back in for Evansville. Skevich is calling for it. He's got the mismatch on Watkins, and there it is. Oh, what a pretty move. That big guy can play a little bit now, Dane. Well, he's got a great IQ. He's yelling at the point guard saying, I got a mismatch. Get me the ball. On the flip side, Arkansas has to recognize that and bring some help for Watkins. Muskevich with six points and four rebounds in the early going. As Willie Kawasi begins to make his presence felt on the offensive end as he gets loose again. Oh, what a tough pull up by Ballantyne. He'll go to the line as he was fouled by Bell. But how about a little big man battle early on? Miskevichus for the Purple Aces and Kawasi for the Hogs at home. We've got well, and you look at Wing sitting there next to Miskevichus, who's getting a break. Even with everything that DJ Ballantyne has done, Evansville has come in here and 14 of the 18 points now have been scored by either Miskevichus or Wing. As Ballantyne gets his first two, still looking for his first field goal. David Howard, 6'8. Redshirt Jr. into the Evansville lineup. And there you see Arkansas continuing 
That hot shooting you saw after that start now six of six since going one for their first eight. Nice job by Durham. That'd be a five second call last year. No longer do they have the count. And they're going to call a push. Is it Manny Watkins in the back? Something Coach Anderson wants Hannes to do is attack more. He doesn't want him to just rely on the three. He's a great free throw shooter, so go in there, try to get fouled, or pull up for the floater like he did there. Witt was actually whistled for that foul. That's his second. He'll go to the bench. Keaton Miles comes back in. There you see the coach's kid, Blake Simmons, who checks out for Evansville. And Dwayne Gibson gets his first action. And we've talked about that experience factor as the Purple Aces turn it over. Look at those numbers and all five starters back from that team that won the College Insiders Tournament at the end of the year. You know who they really remind me of in the SEC is Vanderbilt. They've got great shooters. They've got great passing. they got a great big man. Not quite the point guard play that Vanderbilt has. As we mentioned that to Coach Sims, he said, well, it's funny you say that because we went down and watched Vanderbilt practice in the offseason to kind of get a feel for how they run things. Kowasi is fouled on the play by Howard. First against Howard. And Willie Kowasi from Abidjan and the Ivory Coast via Central Park Christian. Welcome back to the SEC for Kowasi. Started at Auburn, Kennesaw mm -hmm. State, now back at Arkansas. Played the one year at Auburn. And then the two at Kennesaw State. Played in 27 games at Kennesaw State last year and had 25 starts. And as Arkansas continues their scoring streak and having tied it up now, you see Agidius Miskavichis check into the lineup. And I believe we're tied for the first time tonight. And while we've talked about Arkansas's defensive challenges, there they get a block as Gibson tries to take it to the rim, and they've held Valentine in check. On the flip side, Evansville has kept Hannah's from getting off a deep shot. As Kawasi has it go off his hand. Fourth turnover against the Hogs. Where Kawasi's role could be best for Arkansas is on the defensive end as a rim protector, shot blocker, and grabbing those 50-50 balls. That's where Kawasi can be a great player for this Hogs team. He had 36 blocks a year ago at Kennesaw State. Hey, there's Mr. Ballantyne. Well, he saw Kawasi come out there on him with a short closeout. He's not going to turn that one down. 50% field goal shooter, 38% from outside the arc. Boyd Gibson got himself up in the air. And Hannah's the SEC's leading free throw shooter, will go to the line. This communication on the switch, Kawasi, you got to come out further than that. Even if you get beat off the dribble with a great three point shooter like Valentine, you want to force him to put it on the ground. Dusty Hannah's 96% from the free throw line to lead the SEC as Kingsley. And Antoine Bell checked back in for the Razorbacks. Hannes is something else. I just watched him in pregame. He just filled it up like it was nothing, just clockwork. Death taxes and Dusty Hannes field goal mates. The man that started his career at Texas Tech came here and sat out last year. Arkansas extends the defense, and that's a good half-court trip. Hannah's from deep. Hello. That one was from the hog's tail. Yeah, we got a pretty good view of that one. He was about five feet away from us. Kingsley with a box out. And Arkansas with the lead for the first time, and now trying to extend it. Finish. 
They like that high pick and roll, especially with Ballantyne. Ballantyne requires so much help and attention, it opens things up for Miskevich is on the roll. Hannah's again. I tell you, I like the way Miskevich just looks. I mean, the, he's big, he's physical, he can move, he can catch the ball. And that foul is going to be an offensive foul against Brazoya. The IQ of Miskevich just impresses me as much as anything. He's progressed each and every year. He actually graduated last year, had an opportunity to play professionally in Lithuania, but wanted to come back, further his education, but also be part of something special here at Evansville. As a result, they're picked to finish second in the MVC, Missouri Valley Conference. Of course, Wichita State, who's had such great success, their preseason pick to win that league. How about that drive by Manny Watkins. But to finish the thought, Evansville swept Wichita State last year. They've had some great wins. They've had wins over Butler, but never has Coach Simmons beaten anybody from a Power 5 school. This would be a first for them. How about that catch? Ballantyne. Rush that one. Could tell when he went up, he got a little antsy. And Watkins prevented a turnover and may have turned it into a three-point play for Moses Kingsley. Kingsley will have a chance to finish. And they really like what they've got in terms of quarterback Brandon Allen. They'll take on Kansas State in what should be a good one, January 2nd, 3.20 Eastern. The AutoZone Liberty Bowl on ESPN. And Moses Kingsley able to complete the three-point play. Arkansas on a 10-2 run over the last 2-12. Ah! And the guy that can stop a run like that is Miskevichus. That guy just does not stop. He's a tough cover, especially for Moses Kingsley. It's a great way to put it. He knows how to use his body. He doesn't try to think, make things harder than they are. He's just a big man. How many times do we see big men that bring the ball down too low? I mean, he gets it, holds it up high, and uses his height to an advantage. He's fast, too. Here you see Willie Kawasi checking back in. He'll give Kingsley a break. Kingsley picked up his second. Got himself into foul trouble last time out at Wake Forest. And it'll be interesting to see whether Mike Anderson holds him out for the remainder of the first half. Well, the bench is proving themselves 16 to nothing in bench points in favor of Arkansas so far, thanks to guys like Hannah's, Witt, and Kawasi. Or excuse me, not Witt, but Kawasi and Hannah's. And now Evansville going to go zone for the first time. Inside, nice interior passing. Miles got it to Kawasi. We're only 15 minutes into this game, and I'm not sure this is Kawasi's best game so far this year. 86 on the year. That's credit to Mike, Sis Mike Anderson's system and his program. Here comes Simmons with a head of steam. Boy, and that's not easy to do, to float one up there when you're coming as fast as you can. Really nice read there. If the defense doesn't stop you, go until they do. First bucket for the coach's kid, Blake Simmons. Evansville is led by as many as eight. Arkansas by as many as five. Nice ball fake. But Simmons stayed right there. Good defensive trip for Evansville. Simmons catches and shoots. There it is, the coach's kid, Simmons, coming in with a nice floater. Arkansas had to pay the price when they came out off of Miskevichus. That time they didn't leave him. Opened up an easy two for Simmons. Witt checks back into the Arkansas lineup as Bell heads to the bench. And Simmons will get a breather for Evansville as Jalen Brown checks back in.
Evansville comes in having won 12 out of 13, dating back to last year. Witt with that fadeaway, and he got it to go over Valentine. There's that wingspan getting that ball high over his head. Avoided the contest of Valentine. Now Arkansas maybe a little zone. Valentine steps back. And he has had an unvalentine like night. Muskevichus came over and got another block. Did a nice job of staying out of foul trouble as well for the big man. Something that can be a problem earlier this year. And now both teams getting it and going. Evansville not afraid to run with no the Razorbacks. I mean, this is the tempo and style both teams are very comfortable with. I think Miskevich just could use him to slow it down for a minute. <laughs> he's been working his butt off. He'd I like to just one of those get a half-court set here. I, I bet he's one of those guys who can roll a soccer ball off out there. He could, like, balance it on his knee and stuff, <laughs> put it on top of his head. I, I mean, he is as athletic a big man as you're going to see. That three-pointer won't go. And look who gets a hand on it. And then Witt took it away. Hannah's guarded by Brown. And we have played a pretty good stretch without a dead ball, and I think both these teams are just gassed. I agree. You can see it on all their bodies. We haven't had a dead ball in a while, a timeout. And that's why you see some floppiness happening as we speak. And now you get that time week. And the Georgia Bulldogs, of course, everything that's happening in the SEC. Marie and Marcus will catch you up on at halftime, just three minutes and 18 seconds away. Hannah's couldn't get it to go. And one thing Arkansas has done consistently this year is hit the offensive glass. Here he is again. A great three by Hannah's, but an even better pass from the guy just entered the game, Trey Thompson, who's been out with an ankle injury, just now got back in for Arkansas and made an impact on his first possession. And, and, and the pass was good, Dave, but if they don't get the 50-50 ball, they don't ever make the pass. You mentioned Thompson. He's wearing number one. 6'9", 260 out of Madison, Arkansas. He's missed the last three after hurting his ankle against Georgia Tech. He seems to be moving kind of gingerly as we speak. Not great footwork. Zone will probably be better for him than man-to-man. -man. Shot clock at three. And Brown had one rattle out. And after a hot start, Evansville has gone cold. No points for the Purple Aces in the last four minutes. They've missed their last five field goals. Arkansas really defending the three-point line well. One for eight, usually a strength of Evansville. They're a 35% three-point shooting team. Hannes is fouled. He'll go back to the free throw line, but before that, big time range. Great skip pass right across the court. Hannes, cock loaded and ready. So Hannes, the first player in double figures for Arkansas. Muscovicius with 10 for Evansville. And the 96% free throw shooter. Anybody deserves the shooter's role, <laughs> it's Dusty Hannes. You know, the Texas Tech from Little Rock, his dad played baseball at, um, at Arkansas and went on to the major leagues and got the shooter's role again. We asked Coach Anderson, did they recruit him out of high school? He said, we followed him. But as you put, Dave, their dance card was kind of full. They mm -hmm. had a lot of players in that position. Opportunities opened up. Texas Tech wasn't going as well for Hannes. And here he is. Kawasi got the big block, but Miskevich just stayed with it. And sometimes these stats, you know, they, they don't mean a lot except to the people that are keeping them. But Arkansas outscoring Evansville's bench 23 to nothing right now. That is worth noting for sure. And 
especially Arkansas team that talks about we don't have a lot of depth. Yeah. That was 23 nothing. How Make it Hannah? 25. Hannes, a large part Hannes is coming off the bench. That's 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 cheating on your bench board points. Hannes now with 14. Oh, Simmons took a peek or he had a layup. And then Evansville throws it away. One thing that this Arkansas tempo has done is McCavichus is tired. He played 40 minutes last game against Murray State. He's got the condition to do it. I'm not sure they played him 40 minutes at this same pace, though. Boy, Arkansas has totally turned this game around. Kawasi got another block, but nobody's getting Miscavichus on the follow. So the Razorbacks have gone bench to get buckets. Dusty Hannes, Coach Anderson, wanted to play more inside out. He's been able to do both. Jimmy Witt, again, that high release on his shot makes him so effective despite somewhat of the short size at 6'4". So Hannes with 14 points on four of six shooting. And there you see the Arkansas advantage. 25 to nothing in terms of bench points as Watkins comes back in. And Hannes will watch the final 38 seconds. Nice defense again by the Razorbacks. Ballantyne just a little bit off rhythm. Arkansas takes a timeout to set up its final shot with 14.8 to go. Again, the Razorbacks trailed early by eight. But Dane, they've just got so much firepower, and you can see it by where they're ranked in the early SEC standings. Well, we know what Arkansas does, has always done under Mike Anderson. They can score the heck out of the ball. They share it. They're going to turn you over, and they're going to turn those turnovers into points. And that's what they've done. Here we are. They're averaging 86 a game, just about on pace for that as we speak. The difference in this game right now hasn't been that Arkansas necessarily answered the challenge down low. Muscovich, 14-9 already in this first half, but it's on the perimeter. They've defended a three, one for eight for Evansville. And especially with D.J. Ballantyne, a guy that's going to be a 2,000-point scorer here pretty soon. Only five, one for six. Hannah's back in there for the offensive trip. And he draws the foul against Simmons. Arkansas first or second in seven offensive categories in the SEC standings. The problem's been, as we kind of joked about, is a lot of the categories that they're first in, they're dead last on the defensive side. Right. It's, Pants College basketball continues tomorrow on the SEC Network at 8 Eastern. Nebraska-Omaha takes on Missouri. The game is also live on Watch ESPN, 8 o'clock Eastern. Missouri and Kim Anderson, they're coming much better than a year ago. Hannah's knocks him down. Evansville trying to answer. And Simmons shot at the buzzer. Kicks off the year in the SEC. There you see Hannes. He's got a lot to smile about. As Witt will get the start in the second half, as he does at the start of the game for Arkansas. And Evansville looking for some defensive stops as we begin the final 20 minutes of play. And instead, a foul is going to be whistled against Brown for the reach in. That's his second. Arkansas showing some patience here on their first possession of the second half. Durham can't get an opening. And Kingsley tried to beat the double team. Had a wing, tough physical player, like we said, a former football guy, not afraid to get dirty down low. So Wing makes the play at the defensive end and then draws the foul at the other. 
Foul number one against Miles. First against the Razorbacks here in the second half. And always difficult to gauge for the team that's up double digits. How do you come out in the second half? As Ballantyne got free but couldn't connect. Ballantyne's got to keep attacking. The rim will open up for him at some point, but there's just not enough other scorers on this Evansville team for him to go quiet on them. Boy, he hadn't had too many tough nights at all since he has been in Evansville. But tonight, to this point, is one of those nights as they're going to get wit for the hook. And you see Ballantyne. Witt gets that left arm hooked around Ballantyne right in front of the referee. Not going to get away with that. I know it's early in the second half, hadn't had much action yet. But this is the style and pace of play I think Evansville needs to have. I know they're not oh, afraid sure. to run with Arkansas, but that just plays into Arkansas's hands way too much. Evansville was much more effective earlier in the game when most of it was in the half-court set. The thing that's got to happen, though, is Ballantyne has got to put the ball in the basket. Shot 59% from the field his last four games, and tonight he's one out of eight. Well, I think Arkansas got away with the foul there. Miscavige just was trying to slip the screen. It was an open pass. He got pulled away by the Arkansas defender. Rest didn't see it. And it's with his first touch of the second half. And a pretty reverse by Antoine Bell. count it Adam wing was the lone bright spot outside of Muscovich he had eight quick early points for Evansville but was quiet after that they're gonna need contribution from somewhere because they got to dig themselves out of this hole Arkansas style of play will allow you to get back into the game at times this is a game of runs and a team of runs with the Razorbacks wing has not missed a shot tonight he's five for five and now has 11. And Hannes had it blocked. Kingsley working hard. Credit Moses Kingsley for really staking his ground down there in the low box and forcing Miscavichus to commit the foul. If I'm Arkansas and Coach Anderson, I go right back at Miscavichus. If they can get his third foul, that might send him to the bench for a while. Boy, but already. I mean, he just missed a double-double in the first half. As Durham comes away with a rebound, Miscavichus had 14 points and nine boards in the first 20 minutes. Had a couple of blocks, but that time he had to give ground as Kingsley is just working harder to get position, I believe, Dane. Well, I think Muscovich is hes hesitant. He can't afford to get into foul trouble. So if I'm Arkansas, i got to keep attacking down low because Muscovich can't play as aggressively as he wants to. And if he does, you might be able to get him on the bench. He's only got two. I know he doesn't want to get the third, but you can bet that the Hogs are going to continue to go to that man, number 33. Hannes is not out of his range. <laughs> and he got caught up in the air, and he got bailed out by the bump from Ballantyne. You talk about building a wall. Miscavige just does everything right here. He's solid. Just better offense by Kingsley. So Ballantyne guilty of the foul on the pass. It's his second. Bell from deep. That's pretty. What a quick trigger on Bell. And when he gets his feet set and goes straight up, it looked like it's going in from the catch. This guy that Coach Anderson has said has really emerged as a leader. 
Not because Coach Anderson asked him to, but actually because Bobby Porter and Michael Qualls told him that on their way out the door. He said, look, this is your team now. And Miles got a hand in the passing lane. And then Wing commits the foul. So early on, it was the Purple Aces making plays and getting the 50-50 balls. But the Hogs have turned it around at home. Tonight, he's only got five. And he's just one of eight in the field, Dane. Here's a guy that very well could lead the Missouri Valley for the third year in a row in scoring. The only other two people to ever do that, Oscar Robertson and Larry Bird, which would be some pretty good company. He's but he's got to worry about tonight. And Evansville and Coach Simmons, they have got to find a way to draw up some plays for Valentine, get him going offensively. Boy, they haven't been able to get him going offensively. And since about the first five minutes of this basketball game, Arkansas has been about unstoppable on the offensive end. Here's Wing with the left hand, and now count it as Kingsley got it on the way down. Moses Kingsley, Kingsley been a little bit quiet offensively tonight, but here he is swatting it out of there but just got it on the way down, the ref said. Seen a little zone from Evansville, but back in the man-to-man. -man. And a pretty curl by Bell that'll put him at the free throw line. Brazoya. Guilty of his third foul. I think Arkansas has really done a nice job. Only six turnovers so far in the game versus 11 assists. But more than that, their decision making, their shot selection, I think has really been superior. And when they can convert those baskets, that makes them an even better defensive team because they can set up their press, they can get the pace of play that they want. On the other side, if you're Evansville, these type of dead ball situations is what you want to avoid when Arkansas can get set in their press and again dictate the tempo in their favor. Antoine Bell goes out. Jimmy Witt back into the Arkansas lineup. He's got the job of trying to keep Ballantyne shut down. Kingsley's got it now on the switch. Valentine's open. He's got to hunt his shot. Nice pass. Brazoya with a little lob found Miscavichus. Kingsley doubled, and Miscavichus took it away. Purple Aces create the turnover and get points out of it. And now Arkansas looking a little winded and disoriented. Shot clock at six. And Kingsley knocked it down with one on the clock. Really disappointing possession for Evansville. They did everything right for 34 seconds. Starting to get that lead almost down to single digits. Kingsley with a big shot. Pretty drive. I think that's what Valentine has to do. There wasn't much there, but he's got to force the issue at this point and try to get himself going. In order to get himself some better looks on the outside, he's got to make him respect the bounce. And Watkins will go to the line. Not a good offensive possession for Arkansas, but Durham so good at penetrating and finding open guys. Kingsley with a nice mid-range shot. But then Valentine forces the issue, takes on three defenders of Arkansas, and knifes his way through the lane. See if that can get the lid off the bucket, 
the off the rim for Ballantyne. Ballantyne now with seven points. And Watkins missed the first free throw. Dwayne Gibson, number 25. David Howard, number 44. Check into the Evansville lineup, and I believe that Evansville is still looking for its first bench point. I believe it was 29 nothing in favor of Arkansas at the half. That number is now 31-0 in terms of bench scoring. Well, here's a guy, Gibson, running point, who was huge in their win versus Murray State off the bench. Eight points, played a lot of key minutes in overtime. One time got a good look. And the Hogs in a hurry. And when they can split a defense and give Dusty Hannes a look like that, it's over. If you're Jabril Durham, you love to play with Dusty Hannes. But if you're Dusty Hannes, you love Durham just as much. He always has his head up, his eyes open. He is a pass first point guard looking for shooters. Valentine penetrates again. And this time he'll go to the line. Jabril Durham is a guy that enjoys passing the ball more than shooting. This time, Ballantyne goes to the rack. Going to get himself to the line. Anything to get himself in a scoring rhythm. He missed his last shot, but he hit the one prior to that. And now he's going to get himself in a rhythm here. He into this game with 48 assists. As you see Bell check back in for Jabril Durham, who has just given Mike Anderson maximum effort and then some tonight. Valentine, the senior out of Kokomo. Under 12 minutes to go as the Razorbacks look to even their record at four and four. Against an Evansville team that's only lost one time this season. Evansville just hanging in there. They're not getting blown out yet. They're a mini run away, just a 5-6-0 run from bringing right back in this thing. Well, Ballantyne stayed with it, but he is all out of sorts. And Howard had it knocked back at him. Bring another one up for Antoine Bell. Arkansas, six for nine outside the arc. And Howard will go to the line. Now that was, that's what I was killing. Thank goodness they didn't put in the, uh, the, the further breakdown. <laughs> Dusty would be talking about the Guinness Book of World Records, you, and they would just in, be talking about Guinness. And the pregame would go over all these graphics, what's going to pop up on our screen. <laughs> and and none up. of this was ever told to me. That, none of this. That didn't come up? That's why you were signing autographs. Miss Kevis just checks back in. It was an early eight-point Evansville lead. And Arkansas is led by as many as 16, but as you said, they just, you know, keep hanging around. And now they come up with a steal. One of the things Coach Anderson said was Arkansas has to learn how to keep their foot on the gas and don't let up. And right now, they're getting a little bit stagnant and letting Evansville hang around. Yeah, there were some games earlier this year amongst those four losses where he kind of felt like they could have put some teams away and didn't. And if you don't, that's what happens as Simmons knocks down a three. And Evansville isn't playing well, but they're not quitting either. You look at Coach Simmons on the sideline. He's begging his team to get a stop. Keep executing because he knows they're better than this. And Mike Anderson doesn't like what he sees. I'll call on Marty Simmons. That ignited Bob Knight into the famous chair throwing incident. Simmons was called for a foul. Knight thought it was a bad call. And there went the chair. 
from the Did You Know file. One of the great lines I've heard. And there went the chair. <laughs> Real Durham putting his head down and going. Miskevichus hadn't had quite the impact in the second half, but continuing to be a force on the defensive end. Gibson got the foul down low. Miskevichus would have gotten it clean up top. Now, earlier in this game, Miskevichus got his third block, and that gave him the Evansville all-time record of 227 for his career. He would have gotten number four there. Had Gibson not gotten called for the bump underneath. Now on the made free throw. Here comes the Razorback pressure for the first time in the second half. And Watkins is going to get called for the hand check. That's Watkins second. Sixth against the Razorbacks. Simmons again. That one was off from the release. See, I think Ballantyne, he came off that screen. He had an opening to take that shot. I know Simmons just hit one, but Ballantyne's got to be more aggressive, keeping his eye on that rim. A little more selfish, maybe? I think so. Down 13, it's the time to do that. Ballantyne is a great pass, though. He averages six assists a game. He's not just a scorer, so he has the court vision, which sometimes can get the best of him when the team needs him to look for a shot. Arkansas maybe go a little zone off the inbounds. Nice play. Wing with a ball fake. And then dropped it into Miskevichus. Second time Adam Wing has gotten the Arkansas team up in the air with his pump fake in the paint. Pretty play by Durham. And then he tries to get the steal. And Miskevichus may have gotten away with a little push himself. Bell got another one. Don't blink. That shot is gone by the time it hits its hands. There is not a three anywhere on the court that Bell and Dusty Hannes don't believe they can't make. Wing got an offensive rebound, and he was fouled. Yeah, the wing does a nice job getting the Arkansas guys in the air and then dumps it off to Miskevichus for the easy dunk. And in the meantime, Moses Kingsley picks up his third foul. He'll stay in there, though. You see Jalen Brown check back in for Evansville. We look at Arkansas in the year. They're three and four on the year. This an opportunity for them to go four and four. But they're a team that's gotten better, it seems like, throughout this short season. You don't call them moral victories. Nobody wants a moral victory. But that game at Wake Forest that they just lost, you can improve in a loss. And I think they certainly improved and I left agree. that game with a lot of confidence. Hannah's. Boy, that was a long way out. And unfortunately for him, he missed it right in front of his coach. Goes Miscavichus. And that's a foul of frustration on the follow. Went old school with a sky hook there. And that's his third. How about Moses Kingsley? Wasn't too long ago, he's a soccer player in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. His brother says, hey, somebody was talking to me about basketball, said you were tall and probably be pretty good at it. Goes down to a court, does pretty well. Next thing you know, he's in the States, starring at the high school level. Ended up playing on the Arkansas Wings AAU team as well. And here he is, starring for the Arkansas Razorbacks. Played with Played with Bobby Portis and others, and I think now that Portis and Michael Qualls are, have gone on, Kingsley's not looking over his shoulder. He's content with being who he is. 
Here's Brown for a triple. And in Evansville, they get a basket here and there, and they just can't get it back to single digits. Especially the way the Razorbacks are shooting from the outside. That's Jabril Durham. And I think Arkansas has only missed one three this half. Yes, the Razorbacks are five of six. And Durham's just 18% on the year. Here's the number the three year. in the country, eight assists per game. But if he can add this element to his game, that makes all the difference in the world for the Razorbacks. You know, you players kind of feed on this stuff, don't you? Somebody makes one, and then somebody wants to answer at the other end. It gets contagious. Field. He said all three of his threes and he's got a dozen points here in the first 13 of the final 20. Arkansas has been, a, he, they haven't taken away everything from Evansville, but they've taken away some things. Evansville just hadn't taken away anything from Arkansas in this game. Second basket interference of the night whistled against Kingsley. Wing has really done a nice job on the inside, getting that ball, whether it's man-to-man -man or zone, in the paint and attacking aggressively. Right. Whistle inside. That extra pass by Kingsley is what Coach Anderson's looking for. I've heard him tell his players before, it doesn't have to be the home run pass. We'll right. take a single. That's a single right there. That is a nice play by Kingsley, feeding it to Watkins and getting a potential two points out of it at the line. Brown whistled for his third. Vance College basketball continues this Saturday on the SEC Network, first at 530 Eastern. Kansas State takes on Texas A&M. Then at 8, Tennessee Tech against these Razorbacks. Both games also live on Watch ESPN. Free throw shooting has been outstanding tonight by both teams. Arkansas 18 of 22, and Evansville 13 of 15. But the Purple Aces, just according to my recollection, have gotten their precious few times here in the second half. Six of seven in the second half. Long shot by Simmons won't go. Arkansas really extending the defense on the three-point shot. Hannah's had it blocked. As Ballantyne got a piece of it. And there he is off the inbounds. Hannah's just kind of looked away and got himself open. Not everybody can make that pass. That's why I think your best passer takes the ball out of bounds. Durham is that guy for Arkansas. He and Hannah's had some eye contact even before the play, and they knew what each other was thinking. It was funny, earlier in the day, a shoot-around. Durham joked with Hannah, saying, I'm not going to pass you the ball today. Hannah said, man, you've got eight assists per game. I'm good for at least four of those. You don't pass to me, you only got four assists. <laughs> They've worked pretty well so far today, uh, together so far tonight. Hannah's looks like he ought to be in a Disney show. And he shoots the ball like a 10-year vet. You guys are just being mean to people today. You show my three-point percentages on national TV. Tell Hannah she needs to be a Disney character. I didn't say a character. <laughs> I guess you've been in a good way. You know, they have shows on Disney. <laughs> As your kids get older, you'll, you'll discover that. Oh, I know them all too well. No, you don't. You just know the character shows. <laughs> they, actually have, they actually have young teenagers that do shows. Valentine just can't get a bounce tonight, but Wing continues to be active. I think Arkansas is committed to, now that time they shouldn't give up the offensive rebound anyway, but when Wing gets the ball, they're okay if Wing beats them. They're not okay if the others on the perimeter beat them. Hannes gets a nice hand as he goes to the bench. You wonder how long that'll stay in place. Jimmy Wood, a talented freshman, but Hannah's certainly been more productive. Boy, it gives us a nice bump coming off that bench, though, yeah, I mean, know? how much do you just try to keep that chemistry going, and does he embrace that role off the bench? 
It's kind of like he's got two starters is what he's got. Harris Brown, number 13, freshman from Indianapolis, wearing number 13, checks in. And Ballantyne, point he goes to the line, but you can just kind of see the, the struggle that he has had tonight and how difficult everything on this basketball court has been for him. Nothing's been easy, but he shouldn't even have this opportunity right now. Durham's played great all night. Coach Anderson a little upset. Durham went for the home run pass there. There's still a lot of time left in this game. No need for Evansville to get back in it if you're Arkansas. Durham patting himself on the chest saying, my bad. Valentine gets them both. Kingsley from outside. They say that was a two as he was on the line, but if that's going down. See, Arkansas is going to stay focused on the perimeter when it gets inside the wing. Brown with a nice feet inside. Muscavichus has been everything as advertised. 20 points, make it 22, 10 rebounds. The 37th career double-double of that young man's career and his seventh this season. He might not get the victory tonight, but he got himself a good tape for scouts in the professional leagues. He has played his heart out. Tried to draw the charges then. I believe that gives him his four fouls. Here you see Miskevichus in his career numbers, and look at that improvement. And after falling behind by eight points early, Arkansas has gotten this game in hand as Brown is called for the travel. And once they got that lead, I don't believe they've given it up. Approaching the four minute mark. Nice play by Wing with a help defense. Boy, and that's a shot that Valentine just does not miss. They call it basket interference. And everybody's asking who. But the he's got a chance to lead Arkansas for the fourth year in a row. And three pointers would join Pat Bradley, 1995 to 1999. Dusty Hannah's is going to give him a run for his money this year, though. Kingsley hesitated on going up for that ball after he's been called for two basket interferences. And timeout as they get some moisture off the court. This is where the fastest 40 is kind of like the hurry up offense and and football. When do you have the lead? When do you kind of start to slow down your pace of play and kill some clock? with a 12-point lead. But Evansville's got to score and quickly if they hope to make that a point of discussion. Valentine with a nice penetration. That's his 14th of the night. Witt's going to push. And now pull. Smart play by Witt. Bring it out, run some clock. On the shot clock under 10, and there's Bell. My goodness, has he been good. When you're so concerned about the three-point shot and the coach is saying, don't leave him, stay on him, stay on him, that just opens up that driving lane for Bell. He and Hannah's both been productive getting in the lane with that floater. Valentine steps back, and now, as the minutes turn into seconds, he's really starting to feel it. Gets. Here's a chance to bring it in the single digits. 
And he had it taken away. Guess who? Anthlon Bell. Witt got the block. And Bell got the big time jumper. That might be the dagger. How about the freshman, Jimmy Witt, sky high for the defensive play of the game. A five point swing late in this ball game. It was after shoot around today when Mike Anderson told us that Michael Qualls and Bobby Portis had said to Anthlon Bell, this is your team, you need to take it now. And Anderson had been pleased with how he'd done that up to this point. But this might be his finest game of his senior year. It's fitting that Arkansas's defense steps up when they need it most. That's been the key all game. And then transition baskets. We know Arkansas knows how to fill up the basket. Bell, a main reason for that. Wing at the free throw line. In the second half, as Anthlon Bell now goes to the Razorback bench, six of six from the field, four of four from the three-point line, 18 second-half points. It's just amazing to me what Coach Anderson has done offensively with this team. Only 13 points returning from last year, and yet they're still scoring 86 a game, 87 already tonight. Bell only had three at the half. But boy, has he gotten it going in the final 20 minutes. I think one thing Coach Anderson preaches to his team is it's okay if you only score three in the first half. The game will come to you. You don't have to go get it in this type of offense and style of play. Story in this one may very well be the three-point line. Evansville only three out of 15. And now the Razorbacks... We'll run some clock, and with 1.14 in the margin of 11, it doesn't look like Evansville's going to foul. I think Coach Anderson's got to be really proud of this Razorback team. That's Jalen Brown who can't connect, and now... Evansville, 3 of 16 from outside the arc. And hadn't that been the story of the second half? Every time they had a chance to get it into single digits, it is. all the way down to the last minute, they just couldn't convert with the key bucket or the key stop. Valentine will finish with 16. Muscovichus, 22 and 12. But credit but it, Arkansas, Evansville has missed some open shots, but they hadn't been in rhythm all game, long, all game long. Arkansas has really made it difficult. Evansville, a great offensive team, did not show it tonight, despite still shooting 50%. But like you said, Dave, Arkansas defended that three-point line, and they took that away. Three for 17, which took out one of their key players, D.J. Ballantyne. And the other big number is you look at the Evansville bench, two points for the Evansville Oof. bench, 38 for the Razorback bench. That's Mike Anderson basketball right there. Now it's 40 to two after those two free throws by Hannah's. And as Kingsley gets the block, Evansville will lose for just the second time in nine games. Their record goes to seven and two. Arkansas evens its record. At four and four, as they get set to welcome in.